Hello, my name is Dr. David Cortell. I'm a chiropractor, and today I'm going to show you how I use my steel mace for exercise. I'm using a seven pounder today. These tend to be shorter handled. The five and seven pounder are shorter handled, and then when you get to the 10, 15 pounder, the handles are much longer. It's easier to see this in the video, and I also encourage you, if you haven't used a mace before, start with a five pounder or start with a broom handle. It's easy to injure yourself if you're not aware of how the movements should be done. Practice the movements and start adding the weight bit by bit. Even if you're wielding a five pound mace, you will get a workout no matter how big your, your muscles or shoulders are. Great for range of motion, good for posture, good for the core. I'm going to start out with just some warm up exercises. I don't remember the official name of the exercises, but I'll give, uh, I'll give you the names that I use. The first one is a hand switch, and I go back and forth this way. Uh, from side to side, and I do 30 of these, 15 to each side, in an effort to warm up my arms and my shoulders. I'm not really counting right now, I'm just showing you the, uh, the exercise. I do 15 one side, 15 to the other, and after I've done 15 of these, I then do a jousting exercise, where I'm standing like this with a slight bend to my knees, and I'm bringing the, uh, the mace up with a jousting motion to one side, again 15 here, and 15 here. You can do 10, 20, whatever you'd like to do. And then after I've done the jousting, switch my hands up and I do an overhead lift and this one's a nice one because it allow, allows me to get my arms and my shoulders up overhead I'll switch and I'll do it sideways here so you can see this movement and I'm bringing the arm and the shoulder all the way up overhead again 15 each of these I'll also then do a shoveling exercise where I'm here and I'm wielding it as I would wield a shovel and I'll show you this coming directly toward you good sometimes I'll also do a rowing exercise where I take it this way and I do a rowing, and the opposite way too, a rowing here. We can then take it to do some overhead exercises. We can do um, where the ball is in one hand here, and then I can switch it up, and the ball is in another hand here. Bent over rows, where I'm doing this one here, and then I switch it over, and I'll show you from the side here. Bent over rows, and again, you can do these in any order you would like, in any, uh, any you know, number you'd like. And then we're gonna do the uh, 360, and this one's where I swing it overhead, and I bring it around this way. And then I'm going to take it, swing it around this way here. Another one that I like to do, if you wanna add some squats in. I don't remember what this one's called either, but as you see, I'm, as I'm squatting down, I'm bringing it overhead, and as I'm coming back up, I do this one. I'll show you this from the side. This is a good idea for a starting exercise. What I'll encourage you to do is watch the video, write down each of the names of the exercises so it's on a sheet of paper, get familiar with how to do them, and then start with a few of each and add up more and more and more. Using a steel mace can get a full body workout and get you in great shape in no time. See you next video.